Slani everybody, I am Corvus Virushologinicus and this is Starry and Solitary. Uh, today we're discussing the topic of easy spells versus hard spells. And the first thing that first thing that I can say is that it goes with your guts. I mean if you're comfortable and feel it's more effective uh, using spells that contain layer after layer after layer after layer of objects, details, energies, spirits, etc. then absolutely go for it. That's what you've got to do. But I have to agree with Sabrina from Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, which is a series, a TV show that contains so much knowledge and wisdom, but people have, people have disregarded it just because of the satanic content which I'm not uncomfortable with. I am actually Luciferian besides pagan. But the thing is that in episode five, she says, sometimes the oldest and simplest magic works best. And I completely agree with that. Um, that's for me the, the enchant of folk magic that you can work with whatever you have in your environment and you don't have to make or create very complex rituals to get results because you work with spirits you work in an animistic context and their their energy sorry Go away. Okay, that's it. Their energies, their spirits, what they provide is as powerful as any other thing. You're working with spirits and with uh, George Harris said this word that I very much liked with the concept of contagion because you uh, pass or send energies spirits or any other mystical conception from one thing to another to heal, to curse or to obtain results. So that's why I like simpler spells uh, because symbology and the spirit, the spirits of the world are just in themselves very powerful and I think you don't need to add so many layers that in my case I find distracting and I find too complex to be calculated. Um, I always hated anything that had to do with numeral sciences like maths, geometry, um, arithmetics, anything like that. And to me, creating complex ritualistic spells is like doing maths. I have to make all the pieces uh, join together exactly in the way they should. And in, I find that in the moment that you skip something or you dispose something something to the spell in the wrong way the spell is doomed to fail so that's very distracting and, and I feel that actually uh, cast my attention away from what I wanna achieve so Again, there's no good or wrong. Everyone goes with their guts and with what, with what works best for them. And for me, the sim, uh, yeah, the simpler the better, because I don't have to put so much attention in the performance rather than in the goal or the achievement that I, I want to achieve. So, yes, if I want to do something really, really miraculous 
really, really difficult to achieve, really, really out of reality and how the world is uh, disposed at that moment. And I want to rearrange that and it's very complicated. Another motorbike. And it's very complicated to do that. Um, in my opinion, yes, I would have to create a very complex ritual to try to achieve that. But if not, why should I, in my opinion, spend so much effort and focus and energy and time in creating something so complex and then almost the same amount of energy in performing the ritual which needs to be or, or, or requires to be very specific, very well paced uh, with everything put in their place and you know what I mean? Like it's very exhausting mentally and energetically and spiritually for me to do so many things for things that sometimes are very simple I mean if I want to find something that I've lost I, I feel that I don't need to do so many things uh, if I were um, if I were in this position to waste so much energy to find that thing that I lost, I would just spend that energy looking over and over and over and over until I find it. But <laughs> uh, if what I want is a quick solution, as I want for most of my spells, then the simpler the better. <laughs> and the oldest and simplest magic works best but it goes with you I'm just giving my personal take on it it doesn't mean my personal take works for you and you should do what works for you always always that's the best way to approach spellcraft is going with what in your experience works and going with what not only works but feels good because if if something works but it doesn't feel good you still have like this aftertaste that something's not right and you go uncomfortable and even fearful for the next uh, work of spellcraft and that's not right so always goes with what feels good and with what in your experience works best and yeah that's my take on easy spells versus hard spells <coughs> sorry <coughs> um i hope this helped or triggered your interest in any manner um Thanks for watching, we'll see each other in the next video. <clears throat> Sorry! <laughs> um, again, thanks for watching, may the day watch over you all, and bye!